when you're trying to recover from depression, you want to start to feel better in your emotions. And it actually is incredibly difficult and sometimes impossible to just change your emotions. The way we change our emotions is to alter the way we're thinking or what we're doing. So if I want to feel happy today, I need to do something that gives me some pleasure. And that will increase the chances of feeling happy today. It's not a guarantee, but it's much more likely that I'll feel happy if I go and meet some friends and do something nice together than if I lock myself in a darkened room all day. So there's a very obvious way of feeling a bit more cheerful, a bit happier, change what I do. The other way I can change how I'm feeling is to change what I'm thinking. So if I think about something really sad or frightening, it'll change my mood. If I think about something sad, I'll feel sad. If I think about something that makes me angry, I'm more likely to feel angry. So we can change our mood by changing what we do or changing what we think. But we can't just go, I want to feel sad, I want to feel angry, I want to feel happy. It's not that easy. And changing your mood by changing what you do and changing what you think is called cognitive behaviour therapy. Cognitive means thinking, behaviour means what we do, and that's how we change how we feel. And that's why it works for depression, just like it works in every day. But when we're depressed, we're not thinking clearly enough and we haven't got the energy to just do this as we would automatically do. So we need to consciously force ourselves to change what we do and to change how we think. And sometimes we need a therapist to help us do that. Sometimes, actually, the therapist can be a computer and we can, you can do online cognitive behaviour therapy. And sometimes it's a real person sitting there encouraging you to do the things that start helping you to feel better. And you go from being in a downward spiral where your behaviour and your cognitions, your thoughts are making you feel lower and lower and lower, that we call depression, from your behaviour and your thoughts putting you in an upward spiral of feeling better and better and doing more and more and thinking more and more positively. Uh, and that's how cognitive behaviour therapy works.